Marie Colvin was a war correspondent for the Sunday Times of London. Her life was spent bearing witness, working in conflict zones from Chechnya and Kosovo to Baghdad and Sri Lanka, where she lost an eye in a grenade blast. Four years ago, Colvin smuggled herself into Homs, a Syrian city under constant siege by government forces. Activists were uploading videos of people maimed and killed in rocket attacks, but the government blamed an armed insurgency. Colvin's reports said otherwise. These are 28,000 civilians, men, women, and children, hiding, being shelled, defenseless. That little baby is just one of, one of two children who died today, one of children being injured every day. That baby probably will move more people to think, what is going on and why is no one stopping this murder in homes that is happening every day? Hours after this CNN interview, shells hit her hideout, a media center run by activists, and she was killed, along with a French photographer, Remy Ochleg. Now, a lawsuit claims she was targeted deliberately. Her location, seen here after the attack, given away by her satellite broadcast signal and an informant. The suit filed by her family alleges shells were dropped at the direction of senior military officers in Bashar al-Assad's regime. Silencing journalists was central to the Assad regime's strategy to crush political opposition, it says. The Syrian government denies the claim. Ni'mal Baghish, CNN, London.